interest is interest computed on the original principal as well as on any accumulated interest. To calculate the compound interest paid once a year, we use this formula here. A is future value and P is the present value and rate is the interest rate that is expressed in decimal and T is the time and that is also expressed in terms of the number of years. So this time here will be a fraction if the time is expressed in months. Now consider the following example. You deposit 2000 in a savings account at a hometown bank, which has a rate of 6%. Now find the amount A of money in the account after three years subject to compound interest, and also find the interest. The principal is given to be 2000 and that is P and the rate R here is 6% and we express that in terms of decimal. And the time is three years, so therefore time is three. Then we substitute this into the compound interest formula, which is given by this formula here. P is 2000, R is 0.6 and then the time is three. Then you compute 1 plus 0 0.06, that's 1.06 raised to 3. Then multiply it to 2,000, you get 2,382.03. So this amount here is the amount of money in the account after 3 years, subject to a compound interest of 6% per year. To compute for the interest that you make after three years, all you need to do is get the difference of this amount and the principal. To subtract 2,382.03 minus the principal amount, which is 2,000, and that gives you 382.03. Now this amount here is the interest you make after three years. In reality, you don't really earn interest on a yearly basis. There are a lot of times that you can also have interest applied to your principal several times during the year. With that, we use a slightly different formula. It still follows the pattern of the formula that we have discussed in the previous slides. Here, this is still the principal amount and this is the amount of money you have after the compound interest is applied. So this is the amount of money in the account after T years. N is the number of times per year. N is equal to 2 if you say semi-annual. If it's annual, N is just equal to 1. Then you have the original formula. N is equal to 4 if you have quarterly. And you have N is equal to 12 if you have monthly. N will be equal to 365 if it is daily. Now let's consider this example here. You deposit 7500 in a savings account that has a rate of 6%. The interest is compounded monthly. So take note, this is compounded monthly. How much money will you have after five years? Find the interest after five years. Since this is compounded monthly, N here is equal to 12. Rate is 6% and then express that in decimal. So that is equal to 0.06. This 7,500 here is, this is the amount you deposit, so that is the principal. And T is five years. And then we substitute it to this formula. A, this is what we're looking for. And P is 7,500. And then R, that's the raise, 0 0.06 divided by 12. N is equal to 12. And then you have 12 times 5 here. And then simplifying this, you have 7,500 times 1.005 raised to 60. 
Then you multiply that one, you get 10,116.38. So that is the amount of money in the account after five years at 6% compounded monthly. And to obtain the interest amount, subtract or find the difference between the money in the account after five years, and that is 10,116, and then you subtract 7,500. This is the amount of money at the beginning. 10,116.38 minus 7,500 is equal to 2,616.38. This is the interest you make after five years. Music